Those who do nothing are inviting shame as well as violence. Those who act boldly are recognizing right as well as reality. Hey, YouTube, what's up? All right, as promised, uh, another unboxing. Unboxing part due, if you will, uh, from cheaperthandirt.com. And uh, pretty much know what's in the, I don't know what's, what's in which box, but I know what's in these only because I know what came yesterday on yesterday's video. So, let's get this started. And, uh, again, because I'm uh, running it through its paces, the uh, CRKT Foltz Minimalist Bowie Style Blade. Another catalog. I'll give that to somebody. Uh, some packing material. Cheaper than dirt sticker with an AR on there. Probably keep that for something. I just want to show you guys. Everybody, that's all about the planet anyway. Look at the size of this box. All this packing material. And it's one thing. Let's see if I can get this in frame here. This is, uh, there you go. Made by Tapco. It's the uh, enhanced AR stock wrench. Uh, there's other videos on this, so I won't go too much detail about it, but uh, rubberized grip here. Uh, here's a spot for your castle wrench, your muzzle brake, and so on and so forth. So some of the stuff I'm going to be doing in the near future, I'm going to need this for. Alright, now, box number two. God damn it, yet another freaking uh, catalog. Alright. First things first, as you know, I'm a pistol guy. Um, I had the AK, but that was a, uh, a different caliber, so I ended up getting a boar snake for this instead of a whole rifle rod kit and everything. So, uh, Here's the uh, Hoppy's Boar Snake, as you can see uh, right there, 22-223-556, you guys know what that is. Then I got a Magpul P-Mag, uh, you guys know what these are too, but uh, Get this open here. As I said in yesterday's video, I'm sticking with the black scheme for now. So here's the P-Mag with the uh, follower protector on here. And I hate these things because they're paying me ass to get off there. There. And I got the one with the uh, window. There's a 30 round uh, P-Mag. I don't know the camera will pick it up, but PMAG 30 right there, and as much as I said, I just, I just said I hate these things, I'm going to throw this thing back on here, so I don't lose it, there's that, then I got a, uh, also from Tapco, uh, it doesn't have an explanation on the back, but it's the, uh, front sight post adjustment tool uh, for when I take it to go to the range and get it sighted in and everything. That's going to come in handy. Uh, 
Now, I know a lot of you guys, I said I was getting a new pistol grip, a lot of you guys are into the, uh, the Magpul, uh, Myad grips, or the MOE grips. Uh, I went with something a little different. I went with Mako. Uh, some people hate them, some people love them. I uh, happen to hear very good things from people I know personally. It's the, uh, see if I can get this, the IDF Combat Pistol Grip. Uh, as you can see, it's for the M16, M4, AR-15, and other weapons, uh, that use M16 style grips. Uh, it's the, uh, there it is, the AG-43 standard IDF pistol grip. Um, I went with this for a couple of different reasons. Um, it's about the same amount of money, but, uh, it had some pretty deep finger grooves with the texturization in there uh, the high back strap for the webbing it's a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be so I don't know we'll see how it fires you know I don't have the biggest hands in the world um, this also has uh, I recommend doing this but I'm going to do it because it's all I have for the video right now a, a, uh, a uh, storage compartment in the bottom and you kind of hit, hit the press that that nub that fits into that groove and there you go um, as you can see that's how I'm also gonna have to attach it uh, by putting that uh, bolt back through down there but you can store just about anything in there I just like I'm just a guy of options if you've ever seen any of my other videos I like options so yep this is the uh, make go uh, AG43. Um, I believe this is probably the only thing that I bought that's not made in the USA. Okay. Now most of you guys know what that is. That's the Magpul Dad Lever, lever Battery Assist Device. Um, this goes on your AR-15 uh, bolt catch. Uh, you can lock the bolt into position or release the bolt from position uh, if you're a right-handed shooter from the other side of the rifle. There's plenty of videos out there, but I am going to do an installation video and show you what it looks like on the rifle anyway, so you guys will get a, a better idea of what that is and how that looks. Okay. And then last but not least, I got the... Uh, Magpul MOE Hangar Carbine Length. Um, Magpul uh, decal sticker. Love these. Um, now for you guys that don't know, they come in different lengths. They come in the carbine length, a mid length, and a rifle length. Um, comes with directions. Most of you guys know how to do it, but I'm going to make a video on this too, on the installation of this, and show you what that looks like installed. Again, it stayed with the black. So, uh, this is what it looks like here. Let me get a better angle here. Oop, there we go. And uh, it's a two piece. Uh, drop and replacement system. The heat shield, as you can see, is basically, I believe that's the bottom, along the bottom, but it rises up along the sides. Uh, there is no heat shield at the top. So, um, again, I'll show you how to install this and what it looks like on the rifle. That'll be coming in the next video. Um, but it's a lot smaller. It'll go good with that uh, AF, the uh, Magpul AFG that'll go in there. That's what I needed the, uh, the uh, rail sections for. I need to attach a rail section to the bottom so I can attach the AFG. And like I said, instead of, you know, holding it, let me see get in front of the camera. Instead of holding a rifle like this, that AFG will allow me to hold it like this, and because this is smaller, I can actually get a thumb lock on there. 
so this will this will work out really good so uh yeah uh cheaper than dirt unboxing video too we got the uh magpul p mag 30 round with the window we got the uh tapgo ar15 wrench tool we got the uh magpul bad lever we got the uh tapgo uh, front sight adjustment tool. We got the uh, Magpul MOE forehand hand guard. We got the uh, whoop, there we go, Hoppy's boar snake. And we got the uh, the uh, Mako Group IDF. There it is, IDF Combat Pistol Grip AG43 model number. And I'm going to be doing videos on all these installations, showing you what the rifle looks like with all these things. And then, of course, a finished product video to show you what the uh, rifle looks like when it's all done. So, as usual, stay tuned. More videos coming for all of this stuff. Uh, this big pile of mess here. Um, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. First and foremost, I should have said that. So, thank you guys. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe, and you'll get to see uh, what happens with all this stuff. Thanks, guys.